Bill, you opened the door to my heart again. I promise to be your companion, friend, and lover. Your comrade in adventure, accomplice in mischief. <laughs> I vow to be your equal in all things. I promise to help shoulder our challenges, for there's nothing we can't face if we stand together. And I am privileged to become your wife. I love you. Not yet. <laughs> it's our wedding. <laughs> See, it's our wedding. We no, can do not, not yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Because of COVID, I couldn't bowl on Thursday, which was really a disappointment. Every Thursday night, I would go to the British Bulldog Pub in Upland and see my favorite performer, Kim Martin. The pub up the street just happened to open up and had live music on the patio with Kim Martin, which I loved her. I was being my usual butterfly social self, moving from table to table, talking to all the ladies and asking for dances. Had no idea that he would be some man that I was gonna fall for. We got to talk in the more and then he walked me out and he asked me if he could spend more time talking to me. And I said, yeah, I guess you'll have to ask me out on a date. So he did. Bill has a way of making everybody feel like they're special, and he's very friendly. The kindest, most gentle, loving soul that you could imagine. She's so generous and loving, and she would give you everything she had if she knew you needed it more than she did. Mary, you're a gift from God to me and to your family. As our families blend together, I hope that we all find that love is not just something that happens once in our lives, but can happen time and time again. And we can love one another till, till the very end, as we've done before, and we will do it again. I love you. I hope that you had a good day before our walking down the aisle, but I have it's been fantastic, and I am so looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you, our families, and traveling. I love you. If I speak in tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge. And if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, and it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, and it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evils, but rejoices in truth. It always protects, always trusts, and always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Dear sweet Mary, I vow to love you. I vow to honor you. I vow to cherish you. I vow to respect you. I vow to care for you. I vow to be faithful to you. I vow to help you fulfill your purpose. I vow to love your family as you love mine. I vow to love you as the Lord loves us. May the Lord bless our love. May he bless our families. May they blend and thrive. May future generations also be inspired by our love. 
How blessed is the husband of a really good wife. The number of his days will be doubled. A perfect wife is the joy of her husband. He will live out the years of his life in peace. A good wife is the best of portions reserved for those who fear the Lord. Rich or poor, their hearts will be glad, their faces cheerful, whatever the season. Made your vows to each other, you've made these pronouncements, you've exchanged rings by the power invested in me. I now pronounce you husband and wife, Bill and Mary, whatever you are. Now you can kiss the bride. <laughs> This is a gathering of four generations, from Mary, mother of Mary, all the way down to the great grandkids, and many generations yet to come. This is to the blending of the sand, the blending of the families. We're here together as one. A toast to all of us. We've all loved in our lifetimes, and in this moment, we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of all of us. Even though we describe love in different ways, and even though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it, and we see it here today. <laughs> 